What is somatic cell nuclear transfer? To fully understand what it is, we must first go back in time to when cloning was a mere fantasy. Cloning has occurred naturally since the beginning of time. How, you may ask? Twins. Twins are natural clones of each other. After learning about natural occurring cloning, scientists wanted to replicate the process in a lab. Scientists tried and failed to use somatic cell nuclear transfer to clone until 1996 when Ian Wilma and his colleagues at the Roslyn Institute successfully cloned Dolly the sheep. Now that you know the history of somatic cell nuclear transfer, let's get into the process. It is a technique in which the nucleus of a somatic cell, which is a body cell such as a skin cell, is transferred to the cytoplasm of an enucleated egg. The first step of the process is to obtain a somatic cell. To obtain a somatic cell, a tiny amount of skin is cut and placed in a trypsine enzyme buffer solution that frees the target fibroblast from the extracellular matrix. The mixture is then placed on a serum medium and incubated for three weeks. This is done to obtain a single layer of fibroblasts. The second step is to prepare the egg cell. An ovulated egg is obtained by an ultrasound-guided transvaginal needle aspiration in a procedure similar to in vitro fertilization. Then the egg's nucleus is removed using an inverted microscope, UV light, and a glass needle. This setup minimizes damage to the delicate egg and is fairly easy to manipulate. The third step is nuclear transfer. The fibroblasts and egg are placed in a serum solution. The somatic cell's nucleus is removed using a pipette. The nucleus is then injected into the egg cell. A few electric pulses are given to the egg cell to fuse the somatic cell's nucleus and the enucleated egg cell together. The nucleus of a somatic cell is used because it contains all of the DNA and the correct amount of chromosomes to sustain life. The nucleus of an egg cell only contains half of the DNA because it has to be fertilized by a sperm cell which contains the other half of the DNA needed to sustain life. It takes three hours to start seeing if the transfer was successful. To see if the transfer was successful, you must see cleavage, which means the cell is starting to split into another cell. The egg is incubated in uterine-like condition. That means kept in high humidity conditions at 37 degrees Celsius. Once the cell has started to form an embryo by making cell duplicates to carry out different functions, the embryo is placed inside a surrogate mother who carries the developing embryo like a normal pregnancy. When the baby is born, it will be a clone of the animal the somatic cell was taken from.